the name is Yen Sesik. Yen Sesik? Yes. You've called us from the Andromeda system. Yes, thank you. From the Alter Star systems. Say again the name is Alter Star? The Alter Star systems. The name of the system is Flifkashi. Flifkashi? Flifkashi. Flifkashi? Yes. So this star system is within a dominant galaxy? Yes. And you are the ones who work with uh, <clears throat> Alex Collier. Alex Collier. Yes. He is our voice We have many on your planet that speak, but I am not on your planet at this time. But I am connected with those on your planet at this time. He speaks directly to those for your exopolitical services information. I have the information from them, not firsthand. I am the one that inputs the information. Perfect. Um, so what's your relationship with Gerg Fitnier? At this time, we are working with them. They are of our same interests and understandings. They believe that we should become part of them. Uh-huh. And we believe that that is a possibility. There may be time to work on this union, but things are great, and we do not want to take time to do the necessary political work that it would entail to become part of them at this time. We would rather work directly with the human sources Yes, I understand. Um, are you of one race or many races? There are more than one, but this is ours. So when we refer to you, what would be best uh, human word or your word which we could pronounce to refer to your alliance? We have no alliance at this time, except for those that are similar to us on planets that we have gone to and live there now. We have five planets that we are populating in several small solar systems. All right, so you how refer, do you... You can refer to us as the five planet Andromedans, if you like. Five planet Andromedans. Uh, what would be the name uh, that uh, Alex Collier and his human colleagues would use to refer to your uh, people? Does he use a name for us? I do not, am not aware of that. Our people use names to help humans understand, but that is not something that we put in our records because that is not important. Okay. Would it be correct to call you Fifke Shears? Fifke Shears? One moment. Been affirmed. Fifke Shears is a name used for us. Cliff assurance. Okay. Something Flick. of that nature in your pronunciation. Cliff assurance. Sounds good. Uh, what is your um, relation? Are you related to us in any way? There is a relationship, yes. We have been to your planet 
over many centuries. Uh, are we genetically related? Not closely, but there is some genetic relationship, yes, that blends in with the others, different hybridizations that have been seeded on your world. We would be a very, uh, we would not be a significant change in your hybridization at this point. We are similar to you in many ways. Uh-huh. Which ways? Are you mammals? We are in third dimension. We are not in fourth dimension as might one thought. There are some that do reach the fourth dimension or higher, but we are not part of that because we would want to stay close to your exopolitical associations. So we stay in third dimension as we deal with you. Do you understand that? Yes, yes. We do have people on your planet. So your I, people appear in our, in our bodies or your bodies? They would appear in your bodies. We are able to appear human in some many regards. You will be able to tell us by looking into our eyes because you will be able to feel the energy coming from the eyes. So you will know that there is something different, but you will not be able to place that it's alien if you are a regular third dimensional human. However, if you have knowledge that we exist, you may be able to figure out who we are. So how, in your natural state, how different are you from us? What are the main differences? You what sees how do uh, we are shorter one moment differences Head shape is different. Not, not vastly different, but larger in the back. A little bit smaller face in some ways. We do have the same kind of facial features. They are not expressed the same. They would It would seem like our faces are smaller and our heads are larger. Does that make sense? Yes. Are you mammals? Mammal. There is many mammalian traits. However, it's not purely mammal. Do you have, do your female have breasts? There is an appearance of some difference in shape at the breast area. Yes. This would be yes. Do you give a live birth? Yes. Um, do you uh, bring up your children in family structure? Family. Acknowledged. Yes. Our structure is not far different from your structure in family units. We do have family units. They are not permitted to be large. They are permitted to be in intimate. And this is the best way to raise a family 
is with only a few children and not many, because having many children relieves you of some control of teaching great lessons. There are times in the family unit where there are time for moral lessons to be learned, and therefore the father will take them for several days and teach them their lessons about the males, and then the female will take them and teach them the lessons about females. It is possible to change sexual identity on our world, and once they learn which one they identify with most, then they choose that structure. Would you find humans uh, sexually attractive? There are some humans that may be attractive to us, but for the most part, not so much. In the past, about two years ago, I was speaking through Jim to Andromedans, third-dimensional Andromedans, in a big mothership in solar system. Was it yeah. your your people? Yes. Thank you. Great. Uh, so I know a little more. So you, what's your um, atmosphere? Can you breathe human uh, air? It is similar. There are some similarities to your air and our air. There are some other elements in our air that is not in your air. Your air is thinner and has less components. However, if we were to come there and put ourselves in a dome and add the two components that are missing, we would be able to breathe fine. And you would not be affected by these extra components. They are very light. What color is your blood? It is red. So are you oxygen-based species? We are carbon-based. Carbon and oxygen? Carbon and oxygen as you are based. There is some ex extra hydrogen within the system. Hmm. So how much, how big is your presence in the solar system? We have five planets in Andromeda. Our presence is not great because we do not wish to be at a great presence. We are not a warlike people. We are not overly social because that can bring trouble to the planets and we do not wish that. We are by invitation only to other planets. We are by invitation only bringing those to our planet. Um, so you seem to be pretty much humans in terms of, in galactic sense. Are you related to other humans of our galaxy like Lyrans um, and Pleiadians? Yes. There are some connections. We are an old species and they are old species as well. We have known each other for centuries uh, and there have been intermingling of species and DNA, experimental things, Libraries of DNA exist all over the galaxies. Within the other three galaxies that we know of, there are DNA libraries of all these species and more. So among the species which we work with are Pleiadians, Arcturians, Lyrans, Yael, Fendorians, um, few others what would be the genetically closest to you you yell you yell and you yell is 90 something percent close to us so what's your common percent of DNA with us what's your genetic relations like commonality 89.8 uh-huh so do we have common ancestors what's the common ancestor in the distant past, there are many common ancestors, yes. Can you name the species? But some of those species, 
Some of those species do not exist any longer. One was killed in a war when their planet exploded and destroyed all the ships around them. There may be a few left in the galaxy of your galaxy, but they are no longer in existence. They were a very close relationship to Yu Gil and us as well. They were the missing link, so to speak, between us. And therefore, it is sad that they are gone. They were not a vol they were not a violent species. Was it grazed? It was a gray species, yes. As we are considered a fairly gray species, our skin color is slightly more gray than yours. Uh, are you telepathic? We have come upon telepathy within the last several hundred years and are still working to become greater telepathic beings. Third dimension does have its limitations with telepathy, and those in the fourth dimension deal with it much in a greater way than we do. However, it is much it does help much with our society, even though it is not as strong as other civilizations and species. We are very grateful for the very fact that it has calmed our species in the sense that war is very rare now. Violence is less. And there is little disrespect. When there is disrespect, it is dealt with immediately. Uh, is your telepathy technological or natural? We can use telepathic tele technology to enhance what we feel and know and do s readings with others as you would call psychic mind reading but that uses a machine as you would tele technology as you call it uh -huh. technology can reach into those areas of those that are disturbed and help them to understand how to become more effective as a third dimensional being on our world and therefore psychology is not necessary but only re enhancement of the greater gifts and de-emphasizing the lesser gifts or negativity is always successful how thin or how strong is your veil how much of psychic connection do you have to spirit world to spirit world, we have a connection to spirit world that is, what is word? We are sensitive to the spirit world and they are sensitive to us, but we do not, categorize the spirit world as many times as you do on your planet. You have too many categories for one thing and too many rules for one thing in the spirit. You, We have a greater understanding of freedom of spirit and who we are in God, as you call God. Our exopolitical people have studied that God's of your planet and found they are the same as our God, except put in many different faces and personalities, perceptions and things of this nature, all boxed in on rules and regulations. Also, there is some benefit to that, but we find more benefit with the freedom that we use for expressing ourselves to God and we find that having our children make up their mind which sexuality they want at an early age is much safer and much more effective in the sense that they become effective, effective. Yes. 
Uh, we have very few people who are natural psychics, maybe one in 20, one in 50, one in 100. How f psychic are your people naturally? How many of them uh, can speak to the spirits and can see the beyond the veil? The great priestesses and priests are the ones that see beyond the veil. There is at least two in every city that can see these great things and they are met with the people frequently at least a few times a week to give the understanding of spirit as they see it in their perception to the people of the city now there are other cities of course and they speak to their cities as well and this information is always intermingled and the truth is always in the midst of the people and they are not necessarily needing to be psychic but these few that are very psychic have great energy and power and helpfulness to the people of their cities uh take some breath because you're running out of oxygen jim's body is running out of oxygen we have five more minutes to speak and while you breathe in, I will ask another question. Um, so what is your policy towards Earth? What is you doing? What is your goal? What is your assessment of the situation? The assessment is that it is in great danger right now because of the Archon and Chimera. And it is in great difficulty because of the reptilian activity and Illuminati. We are trying to bring a greater understanding to these people of what is happening and that it is not unsafe for the illumination to come, the ascension to be a part of who you are. So we are bringing down the things of negativity, the bringing down the things that would cause the ascension to stop or slow down. That is our role. That is where we will continue. We meet face to face with many important people and explain to them our side and bring them insights that they might not well have had other than what we say. Now, Grup Vignir has done the same and is an ally with us on our information. Also, the Syrians have come. Also, that other alliances have agreed with us, but still your population in control, governments, are fearful that we are only saying this to get control. I understand. Um, before we finish, I want to uh, officially propose several programs. Uh, we might discuss it we might want to discuss and continue the discussion of those but those are kind of standard programs so uh, i think it would be nice if you took part in them one of them is establishing a human colony of the girk fit near type uh, somewhere in space inviting the volunteers and um, speaking to them in your territory somewhere in space we have That's... examined that program say again we have examined okay. that program It is beneficial. We are still examining it in long range effectiveness. So when you are ready, I could invite volunteers to apply to visit your your colonies on that the site. Is, that will be acceptable on the terms that we will do something of that nature. We have not determined that yet. Okay, should I invite them now or later? Not now, the okay. time runs short. Next thing, I would propose that you exchange representatives for the representatives of your civilization to be present at all time at human colonies of Gurkfitnir and other way around. Humans are 
coming to our planet. No, no, I'm talking about human colonies of Gurk Fitnir. So basically, if you send some representatives to be present there and observe and help there, that would help you to establish your own colonies and to understand where Gurk Fitnir is and maybe advise them because I understand you know humans in many ways better than Gurk Fitnir does because you play on the ground a lot. We have access to human telepaths and are learning much. And this is helping our decisions. No, no, it's not decisions. It is the suggestions. Because uh, I'm somewhat involved with these colonies, I, I could suggest the things. I understand. Uh, and next thing, uh, consider uh, establishing a hybridization program. We have a hybridization program with our community where people volunteer either to donate the DNA for creating hybrids or uh, volunteer to uh, invite infusions of alien DNA in our bodies. So I would suggest to take part in this program as well. This is a part of our studies. We are considering this program for ourselves. We see where it leads. The future is much brighter with it than without it. So therefore, our people will probably be participating. A program does not exist, but it is in its genesis. So when you're ready, uh, tell us and we will invite volunteers to submit their applications. Not quite yet. Okay, so that, uh, yes, thank you. That's what I'm saying. When you're ready, let us know. Exactly. All right, thank you very much. Um, I ran out of time, but it was very interesting to speak to you again, to your civilization, and um, let's continue the conversation. Apparently, you know a lot about what is happening on Earth, and speaking to you would be very helpful for light workers. Yes, guaranteed, agreed. Thank you much. Uh, let me send you a blessing. I bless our connection, which spans the galaxy the distance between the galaxies. And I bless our unity in striving to be more of God, to be more, to have more God in us and to be more representing the God in the third dimension. Blessings and namaste. Thank you. We return blessings to you in the correct protocol, which we do not know from this area to you as well. Thank you. Hello. Hi, Jim. Hey. I experienced a little uh, a place in there where I couldn't breathe at all. That was unusual. You said this experience a place in our world, what? Where I couldn't breathe. Uh-huh. It was like I couldn't breathe for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. That was very different. I never experienced that before, I don't think. Mm -hmm. So now this civilization would be called Flifkishirans. Flifkishirans. He's telling me that means uh, five planets. Oh. Oh. I don't know. Five planets Andromedans is too long of a word and too little specific because I'm sure there is there are other five planet worlds around. But Flifke yeah. Shurans is an absolutely unique word which, yes, which would very good. I think would yeah. work. Thank you, Jim. Alrighty. Have a good day and have a fun uh, rest of the day. Okay, very good. Have a great day.
I will say greetings. Nina, hello. This is not Nina. Oh, who is that then? This is a being close by. Hello, being close by. My name is Cesar. Cesar. Nice to meet you. I am an Andromedan. Oh, Andromedan. Can you introduce yourself what Andromedans are? I mean, the, how do they look? What's your physiology? That is not important. Fine. I have come here because you have requested. Thank you. Uh, yes, what's your look on our ascension? It is the most interesting time in your world. Yes. It is the most interesting time for us as well. Uh-huh. We are coming to understand what it is that makes you different. Mm -hmm. And your difference will be an asset to the galaxy. Mm -hmm. Your galaxy needs you. Thank you. We will not help Grok Reknir facilitate this. Okay. Because we take things in a different manner. Okay. We do not look down upon their attempts. Okay. But we do have attempts of our own. Okay. I am Cesar. I am a communicator. All right. If you would like, I can communicate other times. Are you leaving now? No. Okay. Of course, I would, lo I would love to speak to you more. That's very important. So what prevents you from cooperating with Gork Vignier? Is it limiting your abilities to do things? It is our belief system. Belief system. We are like you, uh -huh. strong in our beliefs. Okay. And if there are ways that are not fit for us to work, we cannot become part of an organization mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that works against the way we believe. How many physical beings in your culture are working on Earth projects? I am not sure, but I know that it is over a thousand. Excellent. And how many of them are located in solar system? All of those are located in the solar system. That's huge. Are you humanoid? Somewhat, yes. Somewhat. We have a vessel in the solar system that measures 26 miles. Very good. 26 miles. That's a joke. Uh, no, it was not. No, I mean smiles. Yes, uh, just in English. Uh, yeah. Did I say it in No, no, no. I'm trying to see if you say, have a sense of humor in English, but apparently you use a translator, so you don't get it. You can say 26 miles, or you can say 26 smiles. You said it correctly. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of huge, of huge ships, yes. And you're partly humanoid. What dimension are you? We are third. Third dimension? Yeah. And Gurkhvit Nier is fourth in your calculation, right? We are aware of fourth dimension. We do travel in fourth dimension, but we prefer third dimension. Our belief system requires we do not take for granted those things that appear solid. You don't take for granted. Correct. I see. Um, are you reptilian by any chance? I am not reptilian. Uh, the, the, the civilization. Are they what? Uh, your civilization, the Andromedans, are you reptilian in appearance? No, we are not. Not our species. Are you genetically related to humans? In some ways. What percentage of our genome is similar to your genome? 16 Excellent. Have you contributed in our um, genetics in the past? Yes. All 
D uh, ancient past, uh, yes. medieval, and recent. Ancient past. Hey, were there any recent infusions of your DNA into us? Not recent. That is important. Thank you. How, were you involved in uh, abductions? No. Any healing? Yeah. Oh, wow. We are a peaceful species. Wow. We do not believe in hostility. Excellent. However, we do defend ourselves if necessary. Excellent. It is the way we are. If we meet you face to... Are, are you capable of meeting us face to face? Eventually. Are you meeting with any humans at all? No. We are doing some telepathic work and some channeling. But that is all. Could you host a human colony? We could, at some time, be involved with the colonies. We would not host one. Oh, you would not host one? No. Why not? It is not approved. Oh, you also have a system of approval, like Kirkhidnir? I believe most species do. Mm -hmm. Are you telepathic? Not incredibly so. What would be your telepathy compared to group with near percentage wise? We are about half as telepathic. Ah. However, the way our physiology is aligned, telepathy would not be integrated into our systems for another two hundred years. It's not Completely. much. Completely. Can you use telepathic... Can you become telepathic technologically? We have, yes. You already do. Very yeah. good. So if I look at you, mm. how would I recognize that you are Andromedan? I will send you a mental picture. If you can receive it. Right now? Yes. I'm ready. Just one. Excuse me while Did you receive it? No, I'm blank. Yeah, I think Let I... Let me explain. Okay. We are not like you, you. We are not like the aliens. Mm -hmm. We do stand upright. We are about the size of your species. Mm -hmm. Our planet is slightly larger. Mm -hmm. Our technology came by inheritance. Mm -hmm. And therefore we are able to move in space. But I defer I am approximately the same size as a human male. Mm -hmm. I have no head hair. Mm -hmm. My eyes are slightly longer and almond shaped. Mm -hmm. I have spatial areas for my nostrils. I have a small mouth, mm -hmm. but it can stretch mm -hmm. for eating. Oh, are you eating? We do. Mm -hmm. Vegetarian? No, not necessarily. Mostly, but not. Would you be able to eat human food? I do not know. Okay. Probably some. Wow, so you have that close physiology. Probably some. We have two separate heart chambers. Fine. Is your blood red? Yes. Do you look like a gray, a tall gray? No. Okay. 
We have three lungs due to our atmospheric pressure. Interesting. Are they located side by side, three one to another? There's two side by side and one lower. Uh huh. Okay. We have no need for pancreas. Do you give birth to children? Yes. Real birth? Yes. Wow. We are three dimensional. So when the children are born, do they look like, like human children in any way? No. How do they look? They look like... You know, fish. Fish? They look like a fish. Uh-huh. Okay. Compared to you. Do they grow in water? No. In air? Yes. But it, not oxygen. Oh, what air, what air do you breathe? We are... Let me decide where... Excuse me. Let me... The chemicals that we breathe are different from yours. Just one, the main chemical. What do you use? Sulfur. Sulfur. Sulfur oxide? Yes. SO? Yes. Or SO2? SO. Hmm. No. SO2. Hmm. Interesting. What color is your skin? Orange. Oh, you're the orange person who appeared to Jim? No. Jim had an orange person who, sh who appeared to him half a year ago. Yes. Was it an Andromedan? No. Is it bright orange or dim orange? Dim. Dim orange. More like our Asians? No. More orange, okay. More orange. Oh, interesting. <laughs> do, do, do you wear a dress? We are... Yes. Are you dressed as, as uh, complex as humans? We dress in metals. Oh, metals. Flexible metals. I see. I see. So, if we have to, if we are to live together, you would, one of us have to wear a space suit, right? Yes. I see. On good side, our infections are not dangerous for yours, right? for you, because uh, your no. chemistry would be quite aggressive to us. But we might be able to eat some of your food. I understand. Excellent. So, are you reading my writings? I have not. Hmm. My book three outlines the, the invitation. Books I have seen. Oh, thank you. Your writings in your home, I have not. Okay. You oh. do not have dominion here. I publish everything on the internet. Do you have access to internet? There are times. Uh-huh. Are you in contact with our Earth governments? governmental officials or secret governmental officials? Not at this time. But you had before? We have made contact with officials of the government of China. Interesting. Why did you pick China? They were more open. I see. I see. How did it come out? What, did, what was the result? We were mistaken. Mm -hmm. They are aggressive. Sure. Yeah, read my. They went our technology for aggressive reasons. Yes, of course. Read my book three. I outline the introduction to aliens, how uh, things are on Earth, and 
the main idea to use grassroots light workers to to do things. We are aware. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, colonies, I believe the colonies are the way to ex expand the contact. Unacceptable. Why? Unacceptable. It's fine. Uh, anyway, I welcome your communication. Uh, thank you for... Um, can you read a prayer, a blessing, or a poem in your language and translate, if you don't mind? One moment, I was check to see if that is appropriate protocol in this situation. Of course. Actually, they have said a prayer is probably the best communication. Yes. I will read you one. Thank you. I am not one who memorizes these things. Of course. One moment. Did you say you want to hear it in our language? Yes, if possible. you like an interpretation? Yes, please, if possible. I will try. The, the heat of the stars is melting us, but we stay grateful. The sky falls on us, and yet we look for the space in the sky. The night is dark, but when the morning comes, there is happiness. Run across the evolu uh, is to be expelled into night. There is no night. Shh. Thank you. Mm. I am tired. Oh, thank you for your visit. Uh, much appreciation for your visit. I'm looking forward to speaking to you again. Cesar. Greets you. Greetings. Ooh. 
Ooh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I feel better. My back doesn't hurt as much. <sighs> hmm. You had an interesting visit from an Andromeda.